I can hear you perfectly. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, what, what What were you saying before you cut out? Like you you were going on a long run. So we was talking about like you know what everybody's starting to say that, that you know my son can't box or whatever it is. Say that, and I and I'm happy, man. I want everybody to think the worst of us. You know, uh, we want to be the underdogs because that's the best taste of boxing, man. When you win and everybody's against you, it just tastes so much better you know the the the, yeah. the victory is so much better you know when it's like that you know and i've been doing that every fight and i'm so happy man yeah you get to kind of turn the haters into believers exactly you think you can do this to me you motherfuckers will be playing basketball in pelican bay when i get finished with you shoe program nigga 23 hour lockdown I'm the man up in this piece. You'll never see the light of day. Who the fuck you think you fucking with? I'm the police. I run shit here. You just live here. The best trainer in the planet, baby. Best trainer in the planet. Best trainer. I told everybody. I told everybody. The takeover is for real. A takeover. There you go. The takeover is real, baby. That's a fact. Let's go. You about the only smart guy that I know, bro. Nobody knows shit about boxing. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I've been trying to tell, I've been trying to tell Take him. Care. Like, Take care, man. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy, BT. And I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, from the humble beginnings of the debut pal it was written for one t female lopez to be a boxing superstar and to become the creme de la creme of the sport it was written if you if it, listen i knew this for a long time being in south florida you know anybody from my area who knew t Fimo, who knew uh, uh who knew of him or saw him spar or worked with him in the gym knew he was gonna be something special and yesterday last night um earlier this weekend you know, he validated a lot of what we've been saying and, you know, he deserves all the credit in the world. But in this particular video, I want to focus a little bit less on Tia Fimo, uh, you know, the the son, but I want to focus on his dad, Junior Lopez, Tia Fimo Sr. Because, you know, he deserves a lot of accolades. He deserves a lot of praise bestowed upon him because in boxing, right, we, we, we see a lot of people in boxing, a lot of trainers in boxing that have never ever built a fighter from a, from the ground up get credit get praise get get their just due get their flowers get the, get their proverbial flowers handed to them but, when, but 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 here we have a guy in Junior Lopez who's taken a lot of criticism from boxing fans from boxing fans from boxing media from the boxing world at large they said he was a big mouth they said he doesn't know what he's talking about they said he's vicariously living through his son and that he doesn't know shit about boxing but everything he said in regards to the Tiafima Lopez and, 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 and senior and his son, everything that the father has said about the son has come to pass. He is no Stradamus. He is, you know what? He's better than no Stradamus. He's Coach Stradamus. He's Coach Stradamus, he's Coach Stradamus of boxing, you know, because he said a long time ago what what they were gonna do with Lomachenko. They said that Lomachenko wasn't everything that the media and, and the world cracked him up to be, and that his son was gonna beat him. He said this for a long time, um, and he was right. So everybody who was here that told me I was delusional over thinking TFMO would win, that told this man that he doesn't know shit about boxing, that he's a crackhead all these, all, all, uh, and all these things. I want you guys to give him his credit because as far as I'm concerned, you know, he's the trainer of the year. He is the trainer of the year. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This man is the trainer of the year because nobody, very few people um, in boxing were giving TFMO a legitimate chance. He was he came in as a 4-1 to one underdog. He was a 23-year-old fighter who the best fighter he fought prior to this one was Richard freaking Comey. And he went in there and he, he outboxed Lomachenko. And it was, honestly, if you're being honest with you, um, obviously there's still, there's still a lot of uh, fights left in his career. But honestly, I think when his career is all said and done, it might go down as one of the easier fights he had. I mean, for Christ's sakes, when I scored the fight, I didn't give Lomachenko a round to the eighth round. You know, he was, see if he was swept the first seven rounds to me. So give this man his credit. Give him his just due. Because, you know, you know here we have a guy... Who, who built a fighter from the ground up as 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 his father you know and it's, it's very difficult you know we, a lot of times we see these father and son box relationships they don't they don't they don't always work out because when you when you when you're building your kid from the ground up you're building first of all you have the the ultimate responsibility in life to make sure that that that, that kid grows up to become a, a great 
productive society, a uh, member of society and a, and, a, and a good human being, you know, a, you know, a decent person. So that's already a challenge enough in itself. But then to, 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 to also have the task of molding him into a fighter at the world class championship level of boxing. And even before that, forget the, forget professional boxing. How about the amateurs? How about the amateurs? Because for those of you who don't know, there's a lot of politics that go on in amateur boxing. And Tiafimo Lopez, for those of you who don't know, he won the Olympic trials and was post boxing Team USA. But the Team USA uh, boxing committee already had already pre-picked Carlos Baldera. So, you know, Tiafimo Lopez could have gotten discouraged and gotten out of himself a long, long time ago. But he showed himself in this fight. He showed himself that, um, you know, he had the toughness. He had the, he had the, he had the mental fortitude to continue going. And, and, you know, his dad, has a lot, his father has a lot to do with that so um you know as far as i'm concerned it's, it's not even a contest you know he's the trainer of the year and anybody who said that this guy doesn't know what he's talking about you know get on your knees bow down and kiss and and, and, and kiss the ring of 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 tfm lopez senior aka no Stradamus, aka coach Stradamus, because he was right and you were wrong so just wanting my just, just, just want to get my thoughts out there on that you know he's done a hell of a job Hope to, I hope to have I hope to have him back on the channel very soon for an interview. Uh, so Junior, if you watch this, I know I know you're a friend of the channel. You watch the video, so if you if you, if you watch this man, I would love to have you on whenever you're free. And um, yeah, man, it's a takeover. So yeah, take take care, guys. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. We're at the Davy Powell. You're watching Twisted Sports. Yeah. 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 Yeah.